So welcome to another Chris Chris show. Make sure you subscribe and have notification bell turned on so as soon as I drop these videos, you can like and participate in the comment section. It's been a lot that's been transpiring in the last 24 to 48 hours. There was talks that the Big Ten was gonna cancel their football season. There was talks that Pac-12 was gonna cancel their football season. Then we had the ACC, the Big 12, and SEC saying, even if you guys cancel it, we're still gonna have the season. So college football's been up in the air for the last day or two. But even before we get into that, Joe Biden has picked his vice president. And his vice president pick was Kamala Harris, who many believe was favored. I heard Susan Rice's name brought up. I heard Tammy Duckworth, Stacey Abrams. There's been a few people, but few and far between. It always seemed like it was gonna be Kamala. Kamala was the safest choice. Kamala is the most known. Kamala has the most credibility in that instance. Because if you're bringing someone that doesn't have the experience in politics and debates and all of that, they could be potentially getting embarrassed in the debates with Trump and Pence in the upcoming months. Kamala is very seasoned and experienced in that. So, so personally, I think Biden made the right choice. He made the safe choice. He chose a woman, a black woman, and, and that will help keep the morale up and help keep the black vote and making sure that he's staying true and actually going to be following through with what he's been talking about and improving racial injustice and all of that. So this is a great start. There's quite a few people that are not happy, but I've noticed that a lot of them tend to be Bernie supporters. So no matter what the Democrats do after they didn't choose Bernie, they're not going to be happy. But I've noticed with a wide range of the older crowd or older Democrats, they are very happy with this move. They think it's a great move. It's going to be what they need to do to get over the hump with Trump. Now, me personally, I'll believe it when I see it when and it comes to the election time because one, cheating goes down, voting fraud goes down. They start taking away voting booths. They're trying to take away this mail-in. So there's a lot still in that flux in the air. So I don't think it's a foregone conclusion Joe Biden and Kamala win but I do think this was a great move for Joe Biden and potentially becoming president now Donald Trump you know what he was gonna do he was trying to tear down Joe Biden he basically tried to say today that Joe Biden picking a woman is an insult to men in reality is it an insult to men after how many vice presidents we have that have men one woman vice president is an insult to all men when you really think about that that's just showing how misogynistic Trump is and apparently white women are okay with that because 50 percent of you guys still vote Trump no matter what he says. Will that happen this election? We'll see, but man, the Trump just keeps showing you he does not care about women. He only cares about himself or his own agenda, but people still want to vote for, vote for him because they want to make America great again, apparently. So it is what it is. We'll see what happens, but Biden has made his vice president pick. Kamala Harris, it was known as the safe pick, and me personally, I think it was the right move for Joe Biden. Now the other thing that I was talking about in the beginning, you know, the college football is up in the air. So this morning or this afternoon, you know, I'm West Coast. Some people are East Coast, so it's probably afternoon by that. The Big Ten announced that they were canceling the football season in hopes of trying to do something for the spring 2021 season. One, spring football isn't going to happen because the good players are going to be ready for the draft. So let's just throw that out the window. That's not going to happen. There does not need to be two seasons in a, like a 18-month span. I don't want that to happen. But does the season this year need to happen? happen it could have happened it could have been a great season but you know you guys wanted to turn the corona into a political statement you wanted to turn the mask into a political statement instead of doing what needed to be done months back when we all could be safe and striving like how new zealand hasn't had cases in months or how other countries are handling it better but when it comes to us you know but when it comes to us it's not being handled well and you know the south has been a place where most of these people have gone political and refused to wear masks or refused to do this and that and the other and now, when it comes time for your guys' college football, you're going to be like, oh, we're going to get our college football, whether you like it or not. But you guys are the main culprits for why this is the way it is right now, and why I'm still forced to be home, and why we're still forced to be quarantined, and why there's so much up in the air, because we didn't handle the coronavirus right the first time. And now you're going to try and force people to do football or do sports. If you guys do it right, like how the NBA and NHL are doing it, fine. They have a bubble. Their positive tests aren't really showing up. They're doing the right thing. But what MLB is doing is a mess. In college football, you don't even pay the players and you're going to try and put them at risk. Nah, man, I ain't having that. And then when the players were talking about forming a coalition, to maybe try and start, hey, we need to be paid or we need to be compensated. Now you're talking about canceling the season. So to me, it's like NCAA, they'll do whatever it takes to stop these men from making money, but they were ready to endanger their lives so they can continue making their billions and the school's profit, but the kids don't 
don't profit. So the whole thing's a mess. Like, like I said, with professional sports, it's different. They're being paid millions. I see it as if they want to put themselves in that situation or be in that, it's a little bit different and there's better. But with football, it's a contact sport. There's how many players are on a college roster around 75 to 80 when you count, you know, people red shirt, scholar shirt. It's just gonna be a mess with college football. And these kids aren't paid for it. They aren't compensated for it. So I just can do a year without college football. If you guys had did this right and we handled and we handled this way back when in May and June when the things when people were when states were opening up too early and all this stuff. If we would have handled it then, college football would be going on right now and there would be no issues. But coronavirus is not going away. And then I see people like Lou Holtz is saying, Well, soldiers had to deal with it in Normandy, so let's let these players deal with it. One, them soldiers were paid for. These college players are not paid for. So I'm just sick of these comparisons when you're comparing people that are paid to people that aren't paid. They say education comes first, but they're willing to risk these kids' lives and put their friends and family in danger so they can make their billions and continue this uprising of corona cases and all that. Nah, man. If you would have paid these kids, you would have did something different. You would have handled this better way back then. We wouldn't be in this situation. But we are in this situation because whether it was Trump, whether it was other people, you guys wanted to make a mass political. You wanted to make the corona political, act like it didn't even exist. And now it's still here. It's still existing. People are still dying. And you guys want your football, but you're part of the problem. So yeah, this is the news I really wanted to talk about today. We got Kamala as vice president. We have the Big Ten and Pac-12 canceling their seasons we'll see what transpires apparently it's coming down to the big 12 because if the big 12 votes to cancel it then the acc is going to follow through but if the big 12 wants to stay then apparently the three conferences are going to try and have a season to go on with that but if ohio state's not playing if penn state's not playing if michigan and usc and others aren't playing the ring does not really count it's not really justified it's not validated because ohio state is a top five team so you can't tell me they don't matter into the equation justin fields is, is a top quarterback prospect so he matters so this even if the season does play with those three teams it's going to be a ring with an asterisk on it so no matter what it's just not going to be good if you guys want in college football you should have paid attention and did things right in the first place march may april june and all that then we wouldn't be having this so as i said with chris chris that's why you got to make sure you're subscribed you have the notification bell on so as soon as i drop these videos you could like and participate in the comment section don't forget to share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it this chris chris i'm out this motherfucker.